Jay-Z lyrics, absolutely. So our ode to Greg Cunningham is making sure that we are including Jay-Z lyrics <laughs> in um, explaining key financial concepts. I mean, listen, one of the beautiful things about the black community is our creativity and cleverness in um, all that we do. And specifically, as you look at hip hop, there's so much wisdom and knowledge dropped about money. So uh, a couple of examples. We uh, explain what are the key secrets of building wealth. And one of those secrets is you have to have skills. You, you can't make money unless you have skills. And so Jay Z's lyric that uh, applies to this is, we all fish, better teach your folk, give him money to eat, the next week he's broke. And Tanya, <laughs> just stop and look at Greg's smile. <laughs> not, not everybody makes him smile that big. Not everybody. <laughs> By the way, you could have ended okay. that lyric for her, right? Yeah. Right, Greg? Oh, you didn't need. Yeah, and then there's also, what is it? I'm a business man, right? There is. I'm that, not a business that, man, I'm a business man. That's yeah. right. And we use that one. And we use that one to talk about why entrepreneurship and ownership are so important to the next generation, why they shouldn't just think about it. if you're a businessman, you could be, you know, working at Coca-Cola or working at, you know, any major company in America. But if you're a business, you are the business, you own the business. So we use that one, Greg. Um, we also talk about saving. And when we talk about saving, the lyric that we use is, I bought every V12 engine, wish I could take it back to the beginning. I mean, how powerful is that, that Jay-Z is a billionaire and he's yeah. still talking about, I wish I hadn't wasted that money mm. on things that I didn't need. And instead, I wish I had saved that money. And that's how we teach. That's how we teach kids. So you're and trying it's to reach- empowerment too, Faith, but it's teaching empowerment, right? Because that's what wealth affords you, um, is empowerment and freedom. And that's so, critical to these young people, particularly in, in, in communities of color, where these kids are looking for opportunity, they're looking for a way to express themselves and feel this sense of freedom and empowerment. And that's what wealth um, provides. Tanya, in an article from Afrotech earlier this year, you, you shared this really sobering statistic. 70% of middle class African Americans are projected to have a, a child who falls out of the middle class. Greg, have you ever heard that statistic? I have not. Yeah, that's sobering. Uh, do you, let me say that, that's grim. Do you feel that there's a responsibility for kids to understand that certain communities face, you know, these struggles in achieving upward mobility? It, it is critical for, um, first off, those parents to understand, right? Greg just told you that as a middle-class African-American, he had never heard that statistic. Now imagine how many other middle-class African-Americans don't know that statistic. And so they don't know how critical it is to teach their kids financial education if they wanna have any hope of generational wealth. Wait, yes, I'm quoting you here. You have said, and I thought this was so meaningful. Many people believe financial advisors are only for the wealthy, but that couldn't be farther, further from the truth. Everybody needs yes. financial <clears throat> advisors. Yes. 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 Even yes, LeBron yes. James as a coach. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how is Goal Setter working to close the racial wealth gap? Well, you know, Goal Setter is doing things on many fronts. Um, and the first thing that we're doing is we are partnering with banks like U.S. Bank. Um, and as Greg talked about, the work that we're doing is ensuring that we are getting to every family in America. And we're going to where those families are and saying, hey, this is who you bank with. This is where you go to school. How do we meet you where you are and deliver you financial education tools through the providers that you already have a relationship with so that uh, we are together cultivating your kids to understand money in a way that you couldn't teach them and that no organization in America has ever taught them. And that's, that's the first thing that we're doing. The second thing that we're doing is we're being very intentional. We have a goal setter foundation that just recently launched a movement to get a million black and Latino kids investing. 
And that movement challenged corporations all throughout the country to sponsor kids to get goal setter accounts and then sponsor stock to go into mm. those accounts. Is so that the, the one stock, one future? It is. And so that movement was all about ensuring that we are starting kids off early as investors and savers and owners instead of just consumers. Because mm. if early on you think about yourself as, you know, I don't just buy Nike shoes. I may have a pair of Nike shoes, but I also own Nike stock. You think about yourself differently. You think about yourself and, um, and your possibilities and your potential. You think about it differently. So, so that's what we're doing. We're doing it on the business front by partnering with organizations to bring goal setter and the, the financial education that we bring to every neighborhood and every family in America. But we're also doing it through the Goal Setter Foundation where we, we are being very intentional about closing the wealth gap uh, for black and Latino families. By 2053, African-Americans are projected to have a negative net worth. Latinos are only 20 years behind. Wow. As you know, many young people today have, have a, well, you have young people in your home. They have lots of critiques about uh, economic inequality and the wealth gap. And, and they tend to lean towards suspicion of economic structures that allow these intense degrees of wealth to flourish. How do you think that a financial, an early financial education prepares people not only for their own, you know, financial security at an individual level, but it, it also helps build a vision of a more equ equitable world. 